It's been about two weeks since I've made a video and that's because I have been doing that whole two week trip. Uh, it was a really fun time, but it was really, really fast paced moving from destination to destination. So I never really had a chance to just sit down and talk to the camera. Now I am going a whole lot slower, I'm taking it a week at a time. So now I can actually sort of sit down and start making these vlogs. The two week trip was really fun, a uh, quick refresher. I landed in Tokyo, then we went to Nagoya. Then from Nagoya, we went to Kyoto, Osaka region. And then after that, we went over to Fukuoka, then down to Nagasaki, then took like eight hours of trains back and then spent a few days in Tokyo. That whole trip was really, really fun. I got to see a lot of Japan. I got to experience, you know, just fast paced travel going from one place to the next. And I really was able to just check off a bunch of different places that I've never been before. However, it was also really tiring. Um, there is a giant heat wave going on in Japan right now. Uh, about 100 plus degrees in Fahrenheit and I think it's around 40 degrees in Celsius. Even the nights aren't that, that much of a relief. At night, it goes down to like 30, three degrees Celsius and about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So where I'm at right now is Fukuoka, which is in Kyushu. It's the major city here in Kyushu. I'm in a little apartment uh, I got from Airbnb. It's right next to the Ijiri station, which is a station that, I don't know, maybe about 20 minutes up to Hakata. Hakata's the main terminal. We're currently south of that right now. So today, the plan is to visit a couple of Fukuoka's parks. Um, I'm thinking of going up to Ohori Park and then maybe up to Nishi Park. That's uh, near the, the north end of Fukuoka, near the sea. And I think they have some really, really neat scenery and I can't wait to just go up there and then sort of just film those different areas. Well, I have to take a couple of trains before I actually make it to the park. So let's get started. Also, I hate this beam. It's so low that I hit my head on it. Like every time I go through here, Japan was not built for tall people. So here we are at the park, or at least the very beginning of the park. Um, really neat area so far. I love this forested area. It's really fun to just walk around and explore next to this lake. And the, the sounds of the wildlife and everything is awesome. beautiful crane right here that's just sitting there. It's actually kind of funny because it's like a turtle that keeps swimming up right next to it, but it's really neat just to look at. Uh, there's a guy right over there right now playing the violin, which is really awesome. You can probably hear that in the background. And then we just have this amazing scenery in front of me that I've just been sitting and enjoying. A really nice break from the, the city and the fast paced sort of travel that I've been doing. Just enough to just, you know, sit back and then enjoy nature a little.
that was a really fun journey. Uh, that was actually one of my favorite parks that I've been through in Japan. It's always fun going to different cities and then seeing the different parks and everything in each one of the cities. Thanks everyone for joining me for this video. There are definitely more videos that will be coming out soon. I've already filmed a whole bunch of other things I'm gonna be starting to put together for this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see my latest journeys and my latest travels. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or have any recommendations for me. And until next time, guys, see ya.